Comic 226. And it's a conversation between Mindy and Don Garvey. Well, you can see that. I still can't believe you let them go, sir. You know how I love shooting things. I do, Mindy, but you fail to grasp the big picture. Ah, good, his French accent is back in the phonetics. In order to defeat me, Zoro must feel comfortable in this environment. He must gain allies and come at me with all his might. At which point I will squash him like a gnat, embarrassing him in front of his men, thus proving my superiority. That means I get to shoot stuff, right? So th this is sort of the the look into the traditional movie bad guy, where it's it's sort of like that scene from Austin Powers where he says, "Oh, I'm going to place him into in a what was it in an overly complicated and easily escapable." trap or room or something like that, but he was just kind of explaining, we just overcomplicate things because that's, that's, just, that's just what we always do. It's, it's what we do. So he sort of says, oh, why, did, why did you let let them go? I, you know, I love shooting things. And so Don Garbage is sort of halfway in between. You know, he's a little bit different because he's made it out of the movie world, so he's a bit more of a real person than, say, Mindy. Mindy's very two-dimensional where he only knows the movie he's in. Don Garbage can think outside the box It'd be a bit more complicated of a bad guy. He's sort of the Don Moriarty bit of this. Even though Dr. Zero was originally going to be the Don Moriarty, but then I decided that he should escape and actually become more of a good guy. So he must feel comfortable, and he gains allies, come at him with all his might, at which point, squash him like a gnat, embarrassing him in front of his men. Men. Very misogynistic. Uh, comic. This. Hmm. And once again, I love Don Garbage's mustache. And I sort of am happy with Mindy's gun. Sort of. The real trick was I never knew where to put the thumb. So the thumb, I think, should come around the front. That's the thumb going up the um, the back. Over the over the top. I guess it's really close to the sight line. The back. What's, what's the rear sight line? Do they have different names? Or is it front sight, back sight? I don't know. But, what was the thing, I was re-looking at yesterday's comic when I was looking at it, and I was trying to think of something, or I wasn't, but I, I did manage to think of something that I did want to talk about, but now it's gone. I think it was about the overall plot, and the Matrix movie in general, or just how this particular storyline has been going. I can't think of it, and oh, I just realized, oh, look at that, the thing I have been dreading, the loss of the sunglass arms. Look at the third panel. Both of them. I forgot both of them in that one. Oh, I should draw those in. We'll fix it in post. Except I didn't fix it in post the first time, and I'm sure as hell not fix it in post now. I... I kind of like... No, I don't. I'm lying. I, I didn't like the fact that I could make mistakes. I liked the fact that I drew each panel individually. I didn't ever copy-paste. And that... That I liked, you know, doing the attention to detail each time where it was very original. What I don't like is all the mistakes I made in, in handling that. Ooh. Okay, water didn't help. I'm going to have to have something else. Maybe I'll walk over and get some coffee. Oh, a memento, por favor. Look at that. There's still a little bit of coffee left in there. And I need to take that mug home. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, oh, it's the chocolate caramel. They don't often have chocolate caramel, so I need to really savor that when I can. That's a little look into my morning. <laughs> how y'all doing? Anyway, <laughs> we'll move on to Comic 227 when I can. See that? I didn't say tomorrow. I said when I can. <laughs>